Greetings, Obasi Scott here, Oxygen Therapy Consultant, Atlanta, Georgia. This is The Underground Cure. Thank you guys for coming and watching this video. I've got some very good information for you guys, so I hope that you enjoy it. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into the disclaimer. Before starting any new detox or diet program, please take the proper steps and precautions. We are not doctors or registered dietitians. We do not provide medical aid for the purpose of diagnosing any health or disease-related sickness. The data presented in natural, natural solutions recommended in this video are the scientific facts presented by an oxygen therapy consultant and therefore may be considered and or followed at one's own risk. The research and information covered in our videos is open to the public domain for the sole purpose of educating it in no way breaches or breaks any boundaries of the law in any state of the United States of America. Now, I would implore you to take notes. There's nothing more dangerous in eradicating a disease than a person ready to take action, armed with knowledge and understanding. Guys, listen, I'm going to give you some heavyweight stuff today. So, I say this on every video, but this video, I really implore you to take notes. I really implore you to listen up. Um, this video may be a little bit longer than others because I want to really break down what I'm talking about. Okay. Um, so, um, how can I protect myself from genital herpes if we keep having sex? Okay. So, obviously, this person is in a relationship, right? And they want to keep having sex uh, with their partner, which is fine. Um, but their partner may be infected. So let's look at this. The answer is, although there is no real way to protect yourself from an infected partner, we will address a couple of scenarios. So let me just say this right up front. I'm not going to give you anything that's 100%. This is the way to, to protect yourself from your infected partner. Because if somebody is infected, they are contagious. Automatically know they are contagious. I'll say it again. They are contagious. Okay. So let's dive into some of this. Scenario number one. Your partner has HSV-1 or HSV-2 and is asymptomatic and does not have any symptoms. Okay, asymptomatic means that there's no viral shedding. And typically when a person doesn't have any viral shedding, um, they are... Um, a person doesn't have any viral shedding, they are not able to... Um, they, they don't have many symptoms. So... You have to understand that when, sorry, I'm getting a call, y'all. Um, so, had to deal with that. Sorry. Okay, so if they're not showing symptoms and your partner is asymptomatic, this, is, this presents the lowest risk of you getting infected, given the virus is not shedding in the body and there are no outward symptoms. This is still not 100% because the virus can still spread through bodily fluids, okay? So scenario number one is best case scenario. They're asymptomatic, no viral shedding, no symptoms, um, no outbreaks, but they've been diagnosed, okay? Now, understand they are still contagious, but... Um, this is this presents the lowest risk for you. This this gives you the lowest risk of not contracting the virus. Okay, let's look at scenario two. Your partner has HSV one or two and has symptoms and outbreaks. So, you, your partner has been diagnosed HSV one, HSV two, or even both, and they are having outbreaks or having symptoms of the virus. Okay, so let's think about this. This presents the highest risk of you getting infected, right? Why? Because given that the virus is exposed and there are greater chances of your skin being in direct contact with the virus at its most contagious state. Guys, listen, let me tell you something. When a person is having an outbreak, the virus is at its most contagious state, okay? If they're having outbreaks... And there is a high risk of you having skin-to-skin -skin contact. That is going to present the highest risk for you to get infected. Okay, so now let's look at this. Let's look at some ways for you to avoid this. Number one, encourage your partner to stay as healthy as possible and to take natural solutions to work towards eradication. Encourage your partner to stay as healthy as possible and take natural solutions to work toward eradication okay two don't have sex when there are any type of symptoms or outbreaks don't have sex or kiss or anything when there are any type of symptoms and outbreaks 
Okay? The question was, let's go back to the question. Because I want to answer the question. How can I protect myself from genital herpes if we keep having sex? Okay, so if you keep having sex, you shouldn't be having sex when there are any type of symptoms or outbreaks. Okay? Number three, use common sense and check for yourself. Use common sense and check for yourself. I know it can be kind of uh, embarrassing or something like that, but listen, guys, this is your body. You got to take care of yourself. I know as much as you love your partner, as much as you love the people you with, listen, check for yourself. But support your partner in honesty in how you feel. Listen, let them know that, that <clears throat> you understand their situation. You're not trying to leave them. You, you want to be with them. But they just are infected. They just, they just have to eradicate the virus. Okay? Support them in honesty. Also let them, let them know that they can be honest with you. Encourage them to tell you if they are having an outbreak, if they're not having an outbreak, if they're feeling symptoms, on and on, okay? Encourage them to be honest with you, and, and you be honest with them, okay? Until they eradicate the virus, this is, this is how you're going to protect yourself. Use natural forms of protection, condoms, etc. Okay, listen, they're female condoms, they're male condoms, uh, there's abstinence, um... Okay, so so do things like that. Um, yeah, use protection, guys. Use natural forms of protection. Okay, so the real solution is eradicate the virus ASAP. Get your kid today. Listen, what I didn't say was if your partner is dealing with the virus, you should be doing everything in your power to help them get this kit ASAP. You should be doing everything in your power to help them get this kit so that they can eradicate the virus from their body. Bottom line. Say it again. You should be doing everything in your power if you really love them, this person you've been with, you want to keep having sex with them to help them get the kit. You should be honest with them. Tell them, that listen, you need to eradicate this virus so that... so that we can enjoy each other more okay you guys gotta excuse me my nose is a little jacked up from the pollen okay now let's look at this at this uh affirmation my body is happy and healthy which thrives in a constant state of rejuvenation you can say this about your partner my partner's body is happy and healthy which thrives in a constant state of rejuvenation guys this is the affirmation that's going to help you change your mindset it's going to help you change your mindset so you can eradicate this virus so you can heal yourself, okay? Action steps. Go to undergroundcure.com. Get your free herpes eradication training video series. The link is also in the bio. In the bio. Support and share. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Thank you so much for subscribing. All those that have subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button right above this video or below, okay? Get notifications. Hit the little buzzer down in the corner. I mean the little bell down in the corner so you can be notified when we post a new video. Leave a positive comment. Like your mom used to say, don't, don't say anything negative uh, on our videos or on our channel, please. Okay, Share this video. Two ways you can do this. You can take the link. You can um, take the link and share it on any platform that you're a part of. Number two is you can download the video and you can post it on any channel that you have a following with. That's in the realm of what we're doing, in the realm of helping people heal themselves naturally. Okay, Follow us on Facebook at The Underground Cure. If you got any questions, you can hit us up at undergroundcure at gmail.com. You can visit the website at theundergroundcure.com. You can text any questions to 678-824-2873. Again, that's 678-824-2873. You can text us directly, okay? All that info is in the description if you missed any of it. So with that, thanks for watching, guys. This is Underground Cure. I am Obasi Scott, Oxygen Therapy Consultant. I look forward to seeing each and every one of you guys happy, healed, and completely set free. Talk to you soon.